Welcome, Westwood Warriors. This is Mr. Castro. I'm one of the assistant principals here. And I'm Ms. Ramirez, another assistant principal here at Westwood. And today we're going to go over some of our school expectations. This is Mr. Gilmore. He is the principal of Westwood. Then we have Mr. Castro. He handles students with the last names letters A through E, and he is over campus security and safety. This is Mrs. Gardner. She handles students with the last names F through L, and she is over student activities. Mr. Pond, he handles students with the last names M through RE, and also all of our athletics. We have another assistant principal coming soon, and she will be handling last names RH through Z, and she will be over student services. And this is me, Ms. Ramirez, and I handle 12th grade and registration. And last but not least, Dr. Davis, and he is our IB director. Okay, we do have five security guards here on campus to help you out with various situations. They are Derek, Juan, Keith, Fernando, and Jim. We also have a Mesa police officer. He is our school resource officer. He is known as Officer Johnson. If you see any of these guys around on campus, be sure to say what's up to them and they are here to help you and to uh, keep the campus safe. Every student must carry a student ID card with them at all times. Any adult on campus can ask you to show your ID. Once again, any adult, it doesn't have to be just security or administration, it could be a teacher, it could be the cafeteria worker, anybody can ask you. You will need it to leave the campus. Those of you who are seniors will have to show it at the gate. You will need it to purchase your lunch in the cafeteria. You will need it to check out a book in the media center and then also we'll check uh, different events for dances and games and whatnot. Your first ID is free. Any additional one that you need to purchase will be in the bookstore for $4. Hall passes. All students must have a pass to leave class. The only acceptable pass is the Mesa Public Schools White Pass. If you are out on campus for any reason, if you are sent to the restroom, if you are sent to the health office, if you are sent to another teacher's classroom, you must have a pass with you. Just like your ID, any adult on campus can ask you to show your pass. Please be cooperative, thank you. Cell phones and electronic devices. These are allowed on campus when used appropriately with teacher-directed instruction. If you are in class and your teacher asks you to put it away, then please do so. If you abuse this privilege, it can be taken from you. And please know that if it is lost or stolen, we will do our best to help you, but we are not responsible for any theft or damage to your personal devices. So if it's very important to you, keep it in your pocket or in your purse or your backpack, and we'll go from there. Dress code. This is really important in the beginning of the school year as it's really hot, but you still need to dress appropriately. Shirts should not display inappropriate language or messages. Shorts should be long enough. We do not want to see your undergarments. If you look in the mirror before you leave home and there is any doubt, don't wear it. Students who are dress coded will be sent to the office with a referral and given a change of clothes. Parents may bring a change of clothes for correction. If a correction can't be made, you will spend the day in ALC. What you should not wear. You should not wear shirts displaying any kind of alcoholic beverages. Ladies, you must have straps on your shirts and they must be wide enough to meet the requirements of Mesa Public Schools. You should not wear any of these things. If the girl or person on your shirt needs to be dress coded, then you will get dress coded. If there are any doubts, don't wear it. We call this weekend wear. Again, some more examples of what you should not wear to school. Graffiti and tagging. This is our campus, which includes yours, mine, and everybody else. If you choose to deface our campus, you will possibly pay for the damage, perform work detail on the campus, be charged with vandalism, and just not be here at Westwood. Please clean up after yourself in the morning during lunch and throughout the day. Remind your friends to do so as well. So if you're sitting there during lunchtime and you see a mess on your table, please just uh, help clean it up or remind the people at your table to do so. 
Please keep our campus as beautiful as possible. Search and seizure. If the administration here at Westwood has any reasonable suspicion to search you, we can. The question is, why might we search you? One reason would be, we believe you might have a weapon on campus. We believe you may have drugs. Or we believe that you may have someone else's property. What can we search? We can search you, which means we would have you empty your pockets. We can search your backpack. We can search your purse. We can search your PE locker. And we can even search your car, if necessary. Another thing to add is that when you are checked out a device, a laptop, and we feel that there may be some suspicious activity on that laptop, we can search that as well. Remember, the laptop is a Mesa Public Schools property and we have every right to search it. Seniors, only seniors on track to graduate are permitted to leave campus at lunch. If your ID does not identify you as a senior, you cannot leave campus at lunch. You must exit through the main gate which is located by the student parking lot or the seminary gate, which is next to Hall 4. Do not exit through the office. No student deliveries will be accepted. I realize it's popular and you want to get Grubhub or Uber Eats. We will not be accepting these items on campus at all. In addition, you cannot send deliveries of flour, candy, gifts, or anything like that. Skateboards and scooters. If you are a student who uses a skateboard or scooter to come to school, you must lock your skateboard or scooter up in the provided racks. There are two sets of these racks and they are both located near the amphitheater and the auditorium. You will not be permitted to carry either one of these items around campus. Once again, if you are seen carrying a skateboard or a scooter, you will be asked to lock it up. If you can't, it will be taken from you and placed in the office. Student handbook, get to know the handbook. This handbook is used by administration on appropriate consequences for various behaviors. It also has great information about district and school expectations. You will go over this with your teachers. Just uh, pay close attention when they do because there'll be some valuable information and if you have any doubt, ask questions. Attendance. To be successful here at Westwood, you must be here every day. Ten absence in a class, either excused or unexcused, will result in you being placed on audit, which means that you may not receive credit for that class, even if you are passing. If you are in this situation, you must appeal your absences. Appeal forms are available in the office. Missing one class means you have one absence. Don't be tardy. Passing periods are six minutes. You must be through the door when the bell rings to be considered on time. During the first five minutes of class, you will still be permitted into class, but will be marked tardy. After five minutes, you will be sent to ALC and marked unexcused tardy. Excessive tardies will result in disciplinary action. Grade level reassignments. Your grade level is based on your credits. So ninth graders, if you have zero through five credits, you're ninth grade. Tenth graders, five and a half through 10 and a half credits. 11th grade, 11 through 15 and a half credits. And to be classified as a senior, you need to have 16 or more credits. Warrior time. Your success is important to us. Therefore, we are giving you a chance to work with your teachers during lunchtime. Students returning to Westwood, this is new. We will now only have one lunch period. So, if you are receiving an F in any class, you will be required to attend Warrior Time for half of your lunch period until you are passing all of your classes. When you are passing all of your classes, you can still see your teachers during their tutoring time at lunch for help. So, if you need to retake a test or you just have some questions for them, they will have specific times where you can attend and get the help you need. If you practice Warrior Pride, you will be a successful student here at Westwood. What is Warrior Pride? Warrior Pride is participation, responsibility, interconnectedness, dignity, and excellence. If you are displaying any of these, you will be recognized or perhaps recognized by a staff member. And if you are, you will be given a Warrior Pride card. Warrior Pride cards is just to reinforce positive behaviors and in essence, a high five and a pat on the back, good job. 
It is important to be active and get involved here on campus. There are a variety of clubs and organizations to join. Try two activities or sports each year. There is certainly something here on campus for everyone. Last year, there were over 35 clubs. Club preview is August 16th during lunch. Listen to the announcements for Club Expo in September. If you are interested in athletics, there are over 13 sports offered here at Westwood for both boys and girls. In the fall, we have football, cross country, badminton, boys and girls swimming and diving, girls volleyball, and boys and girls golf. In the wintertime, we have boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, and boys and girls wrestling. In the springtime, we have baseball, softball, boys and girls track and tennis, and boys volleyball. Move Up. Move Up is a tradition that started years ago by one of our former basketball coaches. And the whole idea behind this motto is that we try to get better, a little bit better every single day. Try to move up every single day. So you will see these signs across campus and it's just a subtle reminder to do your very best every day and get a little bit better. Warriors, graduation is the goal. And if you follow the expectations in this video, then you will be successful. Who is the most awesome person today? That's right, whoever's reading this, every single one of you. We are here to say have a great year. Signing off, this is Mr. Castro. And Ms. Ramirez. War Eagle. Tear him up, Westwood. <laughs>